right now i'm walking on side of a very busy highway right in front of my hometown this is why i'm walking with my son right next to me um this is a very humbling and very hurtful experience because oh oh i'm about to fall i really let this man take everything out of me like i let this man being so narcissistic walk on side of me i let this man drain the life out of me damn near left me with nothing but i still have my sanity i still have a little bit of my peace of mind and even though i'm going through so much right now in my life i choose i choose to smile i choose to keep my head up i choose to go through all of these emotions that I'm feeling without resenting them and without repressing them because I have to feel these things. It's the only way I'm gonna be able to heal. So, within this entire documentation of my life, oh my God, people looking at me. With this whole entire documentation of my life, I just want y'all to know that if you're going through something similar or if you may feel like you are trying to get through something that may leave you feeling so low, you can do it. You can do so many cars. I'm going to wait till these cars pass. You can do anything you set your mind to. You will go through humbling situations and it's not because God is trying to punish you. God is not punishing you. What's happening is that you have to go through this so you can be able to reap all the blessings that are in store for you. All the blessings. There are a lot of blessings. And this is what I keep telling myself. There is no test without a testimony. And yes, it's very cliche, but it is damn so the truth. So if you don't see me no more on my channel for a while, just know I'm surviving. I'm surviving. I will make it through this. Me and my kids. We will make it through. My mom has our, my baby. My mom has my baby. So we're going to make it through. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I have all kinds of people looking at me. But I don't care. I don't care. You don't. You probably don't even know me. And you know it may be hard for you to sympathize i'm not looking for people to sympathize i just want to share my story i'm 28 years old and one day my husband just woke up came home from not coming home and told me he didn't want me no more no car no job no nothing had to drop out of school everything so don't ever feel like you can't come back from anything. Don't lie down in a bed and just say you can't get up. Don't let depression tear you up. You are a warrior. I know for sure I am. And I'm gonna make it through. I'm gonna make it through. So thank you for watching. I can't tell you when the next video is. I mean, I, I don't have internet like that. I don't know if he's going to eventually cut my phone off out of spite, but all I can tell you is that I'm going to come out of this with my head on, with my head held up high. Thank you for watching.